another AF Stadiums. Today, we're going to take a look at what I think are the best stadiums in NAIA baseball. They're kind of small, but they all have little quirks. They're pretty great places. Starting off, Indiana Tech Warrior Baseball Field. With a capacity of just 500, this ballpark is really quite bigger than that. It's my alma mater. I've seen quite a few games here. Not only do they have seating behind the home plate, but they also have a patio down the third baseline for tailgate style seating and a grass burn in the outfield. It's tucked in between some school buildings and some dorms. It's just a great atmosphere and a great place to catch a game. Cornerstone University, the Whitfield. With a capacity of just 500, this stadium seems a lot bigger with those pretty imposing buildings behind home plate. Those double as not only the baseball's practice facility, locker rooms, but it also doubles as residence halls for about 100 students. So you can watch a game while you're doing your homework. It's all turf field. It's got chair back seats. It's just a great place. Grizzly Baseball Complex, capacity 800 on the campus of Georgia Gwinnett College. What I think sets this park apart from the rest is the field. It's all natural grass and it looks like it is the most well-kept stadium in the NAI. That brick building you see there is the baseball and softball locker rooms and athletic complex. For being an NAI school, I think this could definitely double as a D2 or even a small D1 stadium. Moving on to Lewis and Clark State College, Harris Field, a capacity of 5,000. Now, this stadium is quite a bit bigger than all the other ones, and there's a pretty good reason for it. This stadium is where the NAI holds their College World Series every year. Located in Idaho, which is a little random, but it works out great. I've actually been to this ballpark as well, and it is a really good place to catch a game. It definitely could handle Division I baseball. Next, Milton Wheeler Field, William Carey University. With a capacity of just 318, it's on the smaller side, but it has both chair back seats and bleacher seating. The field looks great. It's got a nice press box. I love the fact that everything is brick. It just looks like a great place to catch a game. Next, Siena Heights University, Siena Heights Baseball Diamond, capacity just 200. This one is definitely on the smaller side, but it is a nice field. It's got a pretty large press box. It does have some chair back seats. It's got a turf infield and a grass outfield, which you don't see too often, but it looks pretty great. It's got lights for night games, which actually is kind of rare in the NAI, and my hometown field. Next, we have Egg New Park. Capacity just 200 again. This stadium sits on the campus of Lindsey Wilson University. Now, it's got chair back seats. They have a pretty nice baseball complex with locker rooms and everything above the third base dugout. It sits on their complex with football, baseball, and softball. It just is a really nice design. It's small, but it's got a great layout and it works great. Cumberland University, Ernest L. Stockton Field at Woody Hunt Stadium, capacity 600. This one might be my favorite one on the list. It's got all chair back seating, a huge press box. I love the metal poles that are holding up the backstop netting. It just looks great. It's an all grass field. It has a lot of brickwork throughout the stadium. It just looks like a great little ballpark. I would definitely like to catch a game here one day. Next, Doyle Bowl Stadium, capacity 300. This one sits on the campus of University of the Cumberlands, not to be confused with Cumberland University, which we just looked at. This stadium definitely sits on the smaller side, but I really like it. I like the blue chair back seats. I like the turf around home plate with the Patriots behind it. It's got lights, a pretty nice outfield wall. It just looks like a great little ballpark. 
lastly, kind of a quirky one, Racer Baseball Stadium. University of Northwest Ohio, with a capacity of 1,000, mainly made up of bleacher seating. I chose this one because the turf infield is red with a lighter colored brown dirt. It just, it just looks goofy, but I threw it on here because it is actually still a pretty nice little ballpark. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.